to take a look at uh, GSRT C6. This is where we've now gone from similarity and built the basics of similarity and we're jumping into trigonometry. So this is really the standard that uh, the objective that speaks to the introduction of sine, cosine and tangent, the link between similarity and those trig ratios. So uh, very basic, you're going to learn how to label correctly, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. You're going to be able to determine which is the reference angle. And then introduce what is the sine ratio, the cosine, and the tangent ratio. And at this stage, that's all we do, just the basics to solve for sides or for angles and triangles. So what's the big idea? The big idea is now we're able to learn the trigonometric relationships and solve. Connections, of course, to similarity in the past. Uh, connections to special right triangles because they learned that there was specific ratios there that always were true no matter what 30, 60, 90 triangle and so on. That is really linking us to trigonometry. And then uh, traps and pitfalls. Um, I don't know, I guess just the business of labeling a little bit. Uh, sometimes um, I don't know. There, I, I think if, if taught in a, a progressive way, uh, there aren't a lot of them. The one thing I would suggest on my reflections is I use a trig table. Now I know that that's a blast from the past, but I think by seeing a table initially, I don't use it the whole time, but initially, they see the number of values, they understand their ratios, they can see patterns, they can see unique numbers like 0.5 for sine of 30 or tangent of 45 is 1. They see that tangent can exceed 1 as a value, but sine and cosine can't. There's some great pattern, number patterns, found inside the trig table, so I strongly suggest your use of that.